Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I thought I would start the video this time not in the car because we're about to head in the car. <laughs> Aren't we? Who's that? <laughs> so we are headed out this weekend for a, another cottage weekend. We went back for New Year's and so we are headed back for the summer and I'm also very pregnant currently. So this will be our actual last time crossing the border because I can't cross after this weekend because of insurance. So we are headed out. We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna go to Traverse City, have some family time and some outdoor time and fresh air. This boy is just finishing his breakfast. I already just finished mine too. Honestly, I probably have food all over my face. And we're, we had some peanut butter toast and we're currently feeding ourselves yogurt and some milk. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Are you being silly? You got a bit of a mustachio boy. <laughs> so Rob is currently uh, just watering the flowers outside. We have to finish packing the car and then we are going to head out. So I will check in with you in a little bit. All right, we just crossed the border. Well, I guess we aren't technically. Yeah, we're at the we, we have are, crossed the border. We, we have crossed. International waters. Across the tunnel, but now we just have to get through customs. Says no cell phone usage. Welcome to the USA. America. It wasn't too bad for a long weekend. Well, we've been in the car for about... How long have we been in the car? <laughs> like an hour and a half-ish? Yeah, something like that. We left at nine, so... Oh, so an hour and 40 minutes, but we hit some traffic. But the border wasn't too bad, actually. I was pretty surprised. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is stop at the outlet mall because I wanted to see about getting some stuff for Brayden for fall and winter we need to get him like a new winter jacket obviously because he outgrew the one from last year and like fall jacket we need running shoes for him for fall that sort of stuff and we probably will not cross for quite a while so we're gonna stop at the outlet mall do some quick little shopping check out a few stores and hopefully get the stuff that we need and then we're gonna head on to the cottage Still, this buddy boy in the back just had a bit of a nappy, but he's been doing good so far. It's probably snack time soon too. And uh, Rob's, we can't see him because he's in camo. <laughs> Getting ready for the upcoming is fine. Oh, sick! So are we already here? I don't know. Maybe. Bronner's, Frank. And I feel like we're close. We're very close to the outlet. I see the sign for Bronner's. So we'll see you in a little bit. Made it to the Bertrand Outlets in famous downtown Bertrand. Just kidding, it's not famous. <laughs> well, we are not there yet. <laughs> Almost there, but we—I forgot to update you since we went to the mall. So we went to the mall. It's a very quick, quick visit. It was Rob was really rushing. He was trying to get to the cottage. It was. But... It was the guy's version of let's go in there and get what we need and. Get out. Not poke around. Yeah. Situation. Barely got to go in Kate's face. But the good news is we found what we needed. Half well, of what we needed. Yeah. So we went looking for like coats for Brayden for fall and winter, and also for uh, running shoes. So we found the running shoes at Nike. So that was good, but no coats. They no. Uh, they had like some. Well, I found a couple of nice ones in North Face, but they were still like fifty dollars or something, and I was like, I don't know, I'll pay that. A little bit pricey still uh, yeah. so the kid wears it like you know for a couple months and then it's done so yeah but i mean i want to like you know make sure he's warm anyway so we're, we're still on the hunt for that so i thought i would update you we are coming up we're kind of stuck in traffic because it's you know we're up in like cottage country and it's a long weekend so yeah we're backed up for about seven kilometers through town yeah but we're coming up on the big lake so i will show you that Last time we came through, it was full of ice fishing huts. That's right. Hog for Trump. We have some supporters. They got all different 
oh Biden sucks. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like why do they have both? Definitely don't have both. Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> today rob and i obviously not brayden and uh we rob is just putting brayden to bed now so i forgot to end the video we didn't even film at all yesterday honestly we barely filmed all weekend it was a crazy busy weekend and we were with family and stuff so we kind of didn't have time to film too many clips and we didn't really want to get everybody else in it so yesterday we drove home and we actually ended up stopping and doing a bunch of shopping. We did a little bit on the way up and then we did a bunch on the way home just because we're not gonna be able to cross for a little while and we need to get some stuff for Brayden and we were looking for stuff for baby number two. So I thought I would add on a little haul to the end of this video and show you some of the things we got uh, this weekend. And then I also ended up ordering some stuff that I shipped there for when we arrived too. So I'm gonna show you all that now. All right, so I ended up placing a couple of orders, as I said, and then we did some other shopping. So this table is currently just filled with junk. So I did place one order on Amazon and one order with Target. So some of the stuff might actually be mixed up. I'm not too sure, but... Okay, so first things first, this is actually something I got for Brayden. I wanted to get him a little, like, toy for when baby number two comes to kind of like give to him like from the baby you know just kind of have something new while we have a newborn so I got him this kit it's for ages three and up but I think he's gonna like it so I got him that then I also ended up getting this kind of newborn swaddle thing so it comes with a hat and a little bow and a little um, knotted gown, which I really wanted one of those to bring to the hospital. It also comes with this pacifier clip, which 
I'm not too impressed by, but I kind of just wanted the rest. So we don't know what we're having this time. So I thought I wanted to kind of have something like this to have like a hat or a little bow with one of the cute little knotted gowns. Then I also ordered Breeden. This was, I think I got this from Amazon too. This was the um, Aiden and Ines dream blanket. I'd heard good things about these blankets and he's kind of like in close to transitioning out of his sleep sacks. So I wanted to get him a blanket and these all had really good reviews. And of course he loves Mickey. So we got him that. All right, then I ended up ordering some new pacifiers. I have this set for Breeden and then this set for the new baby. So it's like a green. I think that green is brighter. I think our last green was not that dark, but a little green and white for the new baby. And then I got a, another Halo bassinet cover. We only had one, so I wanted to get another one for the bassinet. And then I also got this little kit of um, little like, I don't even know, I, I just call them burp cloths. And that's what I use them as, but just kind of like in a kind of neutrally color. Then we stopped at Target, so we ended up getting Brayden some more go-go squeezes. We got him some of the Annie's Chetty, Chetty, <laughs> why am I saying Cheddar and Chetty? Some Bunny Graham crackers. I was thinking of the Cheddar things. Then we also got, um, I got this actually for me, so I ended up ordering this one actually which is the breast pump part. And I didn't realize it was only like came with one and I needed two. So while, I mean, obviously, cause you know, got two boobs. Then I didn't realize it was only one. So while we were at Target, I ended up getting this kit, which is basically the exact same thing, except this one comes with um, another one of the bottles. So I all set for that. We also stopped at um, Birch Run and Frankenmuth on the way up north, and we got Brayden some new running shoes. These are um, basically the next size up, which he'll probably need for like fall, winter. And we just got him these little Nikes that are really cute. We got a good deal on them too. I think they were like thirty dollars, something like that. And moving on, this is totally random and all over the place. Oops, I just dropped a bag. Then we went to Costco randomly one day and I saw these like lounge shorts and I needed some more kind of like pregnancy friendly stuff. So I ended up getting this extra large pair of shorts. I thought I could wear them as PJs or even just lounging around the house just for comfy. And at Costco, they also had these uh, sandals on. I have another pair of Flojos. They're like a little bit different than this, but I really love them. And these ones were 10 bucks, I think. So I picked up a pair of these and they're really squishy. Then over here, I got another one of these um, diaper caddies. I have a different one for Brayden, but just to kind of keep like diapers and wipes and stuff in here for baby number two. Then at the other mall we went to, they had this box lunch store, which if you are familiar with, oh, hold on. It has a bunch of really cute like Disney stuff. So I ended up getting this top for when I'm not pregnant anymore, cause it probably won't fit me now. It might, but it's really cute little Winnie the Pooh shirt. I thought it was super cute, couldn't resist. And this one was almost $29, so super cute. And we have another bag from Target. This was, um, they had a really good deal on in the clearance section. They had these PJs. These are 2T, just these zip up ones for Braden. I think these were $11.90 for the two of them down from yeah, down from 17, so that was a really good deal as well. And they also had this super cute Disney tee, which we got for next summer. It says, you've got a friend in me with all the Toy Story characters. 
We both thought that was cute. And then since we all know I love sour candy, I had to pick up some more of these and they actually had some new flavors in two that they didn't have before. So I'm excited to try these ones now. Okay, then we also went to the Columbia outlet and got Brayden some snow pants for this winter. These are like the Omni ones. We ended up getting them for like 20, $25. So they were originally $70. So that was a really good deal. Also recently ordered him a coat on Amazon. So that will be coming this, uh, this weekend, I think, or tomorrow. Then we went to Kohl's and they had this sale on for this um, Jumping Beans brand. It was buy one, get one a dollar. So we got um, this really cute top again for next summer with these shorts. Then we also got this little Buzz Lightyear outfit. It's kind of like the active wear material. And then we also got him this little Mickey swimsuit. And that's it. Okay, so we were just going through our luggage and realized that we actually missed a few things for our haul. So I ended up ordering this um, purse for me because the one I have is completely falling apart. So I got this one at Target. It also comes with two different straps, which is fun. Then we ended up getting this dress from TJ Maxx. It's like this can't even see it but it's like this um michael kors a blue and white dress i thought it was really cute actually it would go really cute with this bag and the strap so that is cute and then we got a few more things for brayden we got him this nike suit for fall and this was from tj maxx they also had this little t-shirt on clearance to go with it and we also got him a Nike jacket for next spring. This is uh, 3T, so should be nice and big. Probably actually still a little bit too big for next spring. So now that's it.